Hello, my name is Mrs Green. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Director of Sixth Form here at NSG. Um, and this video is all about who is going to be your school president for the coming academic year. So you may be wondering, what does the school president actually do? Well, the role of president is absolutely central to um, student voice at NSG. Um, the president leads a team, a student leadership team, and that team led by the president has the ability to make changes both in the sixth form and um, around school for year seven to 11. And really the idea is that whoever is elected as school president is someone that you can all look up to. Um, they sort of embody really our expectation that sixth form students should be role models. So things that they're involved in um, are leading and representing students in the school. They take uh, key roles in important school events like information evenings, um, open evenings for prospective um, year six parents or students who might be joining us for the sixth form. Um, they lead on programmes for activities with the main school. Now, a lot of that has not been able to happen with the sort of bubble situation with COVID, but we really hope to be able to make some more links between the sixth form and the main school as hopefully restrictions begin to ease. Um, the student president as well will uh, lead the school council um, and they'll act as an ambassador for the school at external events um, within Northampton or even further afield. And obviously they will attend your assemblies. They may well even lead your assemblies. Um, so it is a really important role. They are kind of your voice um, in terms of linking back your ideas to the staff and the senior leadership team at the school. So it's a really exciting opportunity um, for the students who've applied for the position. So who are the candidates and what is the process? There are four candidates okay, who've applied to be school president. Um, and they are Cherry, Manisha, Emma and Nishi. Now, all four candidates have made a two minute video, which follows on the next slides in this bigger video. You can watch each of their two minute videos. This larger video is going to be emailed to you as well. So you can watch them back repeatedly if you really want to. And then later this week, you will be sent a Google form via email where I would like you to select which one of these four students you think would be the best candidate for school president. After the vote, OK, so you will get your Google form sent later in the week. We need you to vote by Monday. So it's a quick turnaround. So you'll only have kind of the end of the week and the weekend in order to vote. So by Monday morning, all the votes will be in Monday at nine o'clock on the 24th of May. And then the four candidates will be interviewed by me and Mrs. Tavodanaya before a final decision is made about which one of them is selected as your school president. OK, so I'm going to stop talking and you will see all four of the students videos in order. Um, of how they are on this slide. Um, so you'll have a two minute video for each of those. And then I will just remind you of the final details about voting before the video comes to an end. Hi everyone, I'm Cherish Love. Most of you know me as Cherry. I'm currently a year 12 student studying English language, sociology and health and social care with the intention to become a social worker in future. I believe I'm a suitable candidate for your school president. Why vote for me, you may ask? Well, I'm very sociable. I have good interpersonal skills. I'm a good listener. I've been at NSG for six years, and I believe I can understand some of your concerns and needs. When elected as president, I plan to involve student views in our curriculum activity. For example, we can enhance diversity in our school through culture days and do more coverage in our Black History Month, as well as bring new ideas to the table about our performing arts. Most of you have brought this to my attention, so I plan to do just that.
I also volunteer for Public Health England, so I believe that I can bring ideas to the table about mental health and well-being, as this has become such a big issue in this era for teenagers. I can also help with work experience and volunteering to better your skills for the future. If you vote for me, you're voting for student empowerment, innovation, academic excellence and respect for all. Your voice is my voice. Thank you. Bye. Hello, I'm Anisha Kuna and I'm running to become the next LSG school president. If I'm elected, I will let you all have Fridays off. Wouldn't that be nice? However, now that I have your attention, here's what I aim to do. The role of president requires someone who is trustworthy, responsible and enjoys helping others. Earlier this year, I completed a running challenge in sponsorship for our NHS Heroes, where I managed to raise almost £500. If I'm elected, we would select a nominator school charity, setting a fundraising target to work towards. Tutor groups will hold fundraising activities and each term, the form who has raised the most will be rewarded. Rewards may consist of tutor group parties or cake Fridays. Also, many of you may know me from my blog or from co-hosting a podcast. If I'm elected, we will do weekly student takeovers on the NSG social media pages, and this will give students a chance to share their passion for their favorite subjects, as well as motivate others. These takeovers could be in the form of a day in the life, a Q&A, revision tips, or specific subject and topic advice. Students will be eligible for this if they have fulfilled the values of the school's ethos. Previous presidents have always inspired me at NSG and now I have an opportunity to do the same to you. NSG will be a place where we can make learning fun and create lifelong memories as well as building the foundations towards our futures. More importantly, if we work together we can achieve our full potential. I hope that I can count on your vote. Thank you for listening to me. Hi, I'm Emma and I would love to be your school president. It would mean the world to me to be able to help guide other students like myself through their school years, which honestly, from friendship dramas to exams, can be really challenging at times. I know that because of the pandemic, lots of us have really struggled, especially mental health wise. I certainly have. And if I were to be elected as president, I really would want to place a big emphasis on this. Most importantly, I would hope to offer a listening ear and act as a big sister figure to anyone who needs to talk. I would also hope to introduce a regular feel good bulletin, which would include those good news stories that we rarely hear about and funny videos, which I'm not gonna lie, will mostly involve dogs, but I'll try and include a few cats as well. <laughs> Getting outside is also really beneficial for our mental health. So we could arrange group walks and other outside activities to help us reconnect with nature, which speaking of, I'm also really passionate about the environment. Uh, so much so that I actually used to bring bamboo straws with me to school every single day. <laughs> but climate change is such a pressing global issue and one that is especially going to impact our generation. I would love to work with you and the Eco Council to help save our planet. I also strongly believe that every single one of us should be given a voice and equal opportunities, no matter our gender, sexuality, race or religion. I would hope to work with you all to advocate for this by having open discussions about our experiences. Another thing that COVID-19 has made me realise is how important extracurriculars are. If I were president, I would ask for your suggestions about school clubs you would like to see, hopefully help every helping everyone to find that thing which they love. Thank you so much for hearing what I have to say and the opportunity to listen to you and be your voice would honestly be an incredible privilege. Bye, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nishi and this is just a short video for me to give you an insight into what I would like to achieve 
when I am president. One of my ideas is to celebrate and acknowledge cultural events more than we already do. Some examples would include Chinese New Year, Eid, Diwali, Hanukkah, etc. I believe that understanding the stories behind and learning what different cultures is important, as we live in a world where these coincide on a daily basis. So a deeper understanding of them is needed if we want to respect everyone around us. I also believe this ties in really well with NSG's motto, to have respect for others. Another thing I would like to mention is I believe that empathizing, respecting and understanding are the basis for any society to develop or improve. After having lived in various communities, I believe I have these skills and can respect, empathize and understand people from different backgrounds and ethnicities. Another key point I would focus on um, is sexualities and stigma surrounding being LGBTQ. Although we have clubs such as the Heart Club or the Unity Club, I believe we as a school can do more to support our LGBT members. I have many more ideas but not that much time, so one last thing I would like to mention is I want to hear from you. Although we will do a lot as a leadership team, I think that you should have a say or be able to voice your ideas as well. As I'm sure most of them are going to be brilliant, I, when I become president, I will aim to create a platform for you to be able to share these ideas. I believe that I have the leadership, communication and organisation skills needed to implement this to its best degree. And as I'm also approachable, I know that together, we as a school can improve uh, our community for the better. OK, so what happens next? Now you've watched the four videos. OK, you need to keep checking your inbox this week and a Google form will be emailed to you so that you can vote for which one of the four students you would like to see as your school president. OK, you must then complete that Google form and place your vote by Monday the 24th of May at nine o'clock so that we can then go ahead with the interviews that I mentioned previously um, so that we can appoint our school president before we break for the half term holiday. Please do make sure you vote. Um, you know, we're deliberately sending this information out to every student in year seven, right the way through to year 12. We want you to have a say and we want to you to feel that your school president really represents you. So do make sure you respond to the Google form. OK, thank you for watching. Um, and as I say, this this will be emailed to you separately. So if you want to watch the videos back, please do. And we look forward to seeing who you select um, ahead of the final stage of interviews. Thanks.